Guten Tag, meine Damen wie geht's? Sam Wandita, ich bin Dita. So, let's get our captive audience. Yes, yeah, someone asked me about my cool tuna here. I really like it. It's a TC Helicon Polytune. I like it. It's got a really good display. It doesn't go down to 432, it goes down to 435, and I just use Dita tuning with this. Put it at 435 and tune to a D sharp. So, those of you interested, that's what it is, a TC Elkin Polytune. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm learning a new song, uh, inspired by one of my uh, six loyal viewers. Six loyal viewers. And I, I posted this Steely Dan song because um, the chord's a little weird and uh, people can find it intimidating. So when you're not used to familiar chords, it's a rut we all fall into. Uh, we want to do what's easiest for us. So I encourage you to get out of your comfort zone. So I'm going to start practicing some more jazzy chords when I get time to do it. But what I wanted to show you is the proper way, because I fail to do this sometimes, but if I want to learn a song well, uh, so pick a song you like. And don't let, if the chords seem complicated, don't let that uh, dissuade you because you can, you can simplify things. So again, I'm just going to use it because I'm learning this song, but we'll use uh, the Steely Dan song Pretzel Logic because uh, it illustrates what I'm talking about. So what you want to do, uh, this is how to, to change chords uh, quickly and smoothly and get really fast and smooth at changing chords. This is what you do. You have to, first of all, slow it right down. So the first thing you want to do is play the chord properly the way you want to do it in the song and just learn one chord at a time, even if you spend all day working on one chord. So we're going to use the chords in this song. So the first chord is an A minor seven, and you're going to play just the four strings, the D, the G, the B and the E. Now I, I like to add these bass notes. Now you can do that later, but uh, you know, once you get more comfortable, but just learn the chord first. So this is the chord. Now with this song, and I suggest you always learn chords two ways, learn them, uh, actually three ways, learn them without a pick, learn them strumming, okay? Strumming down from the, from the bass to the, hot, to the treble, strumming back from the treble to the bass with your first finger, and then plucking. Do the tack the chord those three ways and you'll find it has sounds different each way and then when you get familiar with it you can do you know and strum it all the ways so that's the first chord so you learn that now you want uh, the second chord which is an F major seventh important thing when you're fingering your chords you want you don't want your fingers to be on the fret but you want to be just behind the fret and each fret you want to try and get your fingers as close to the fret as possible and not being on it so now we have two chords we have this a minor seven and f major seven and for this exercise i'm just going to pluck like with my and play these four notes right so so uh, now I'm practicing the F major 7. Now I'm just going to practice really slowly changing between the two. So F major 7, A major, uh, A major, A, A minor 7. A minor 7, F major 7. F major 7, A minor 7. You see, I'm forming the chord in the air. Uh, if you have to do it one at a time, that's okay. But once you get that down, you want to try and form the chord with all your fingers at the same time.
I believe in, I call this the rule of six, when you can switch between it slowly six times. You want the tone to be good? a third chord there. And and do that over and over and and if if you get really familiar with those chords, you'll get better. What we try and tend to do is we learn the first part of the, the easy part first, and then we keep making mistakes when when we get to the hard part. So those are the first three chords. And then the next chord is here. And you're changing from here to here. Here to here. And it's usually not as complicated or as difficult as you think. You usually overthink it. So just get that down. That's our D, E. Go so slow that you don't make a mistake. That's what you want to do. I'm, I'm speeding this up for the sake of the, the video because I don't want to make it too long, but play it actually slower than I'm showing you. All right? And just practice the, 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 the change. Don't worry about the other two chords because you know them. Then when you feel comfortable with the newest change you add, then add all three. So... one gets it up here. So we're practicing the D, the D, E to the E, A. And see, I'm forming the chord before I get there. So what you want to do, you want to form it before you get there. And this is a slide up. That stays the same. You're just adding this note here. that change then I add all put them all in so I'm going from here to here get them solid, you'll find you get really smooth. Don't worry about learning the whole song. You know, you spend half an hour practicing this chord change, right? So I'm barring all this, adding the D sharp there. Oh, sorry. There, barring on the second fret, adding the D and the G. Now that's a bit awkward, but you can do it. So. So it's getting there, it'd be 10 minutes long, but. And, and play the chord, get familiar with it. So you sound here, sound all the notes in the chord clearly. And then practice the changes and so that change I find difficult, so. So 
uh, so for, for me, learning this song, it's only the second day I've been working on it, that's the change I find the most difficult, so that's the one I have to work on the most. So we're all different, so you'll find uh, certain chord changes di diff more difficult. Work on those even more, right? You have to practice, you have to, uh, if you're training your muscles, you want you have to train your, support your weaker muscles first, right? So don't always go to your strength, go to your weaknesses, so, you know, and practice those. See, it's getting better already just by demonstrating to you for like a few seconds. So ho hopefully that helps. Don't be intimidated if you think the, the chords are complicated, they're not. I mean, uh, you, you can play them if you persevere. So all I'm saying is that uh, don't get ahead of yourself. Slow it down, slow it down. Just change from one chord to the next, one chord, and, and just do the, f just keep changing between just two chords. And then when you're comfortable with that, do it in reverse order. Then, then when you're comfortable changing from one chord to another, right, you're doing a two chord change in the air, then make it three. Then when you're comfortable doing three, do four. And if your song has four or five or six or seven chords, or seven or eight or nine chord changes in it. Just keep practicing the chord changes and then you'll find, don't worry about the song. If you practice all the chord changes, then when you actually get to the song, it'll be easy peasy. That's the way to do it. And uh, some, we're our, our own worst enemies because we get lazy or we get comfortable. And so keep that in the back of your mind. Just slow it down. Just change from one to the other change them in the air and make sure you play them perfectly really slowly before you go on to the next one and you should have success and she agrees see that's why she's giving me that really tita picasso yes really rita zane happy plucking